Hello everyone, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 15 of the tutorial series on AWS HTTP API. So guys, in this video, we are going to learn about the default route. So till now, if we try to invoke the route which does not exist, then it throw an exception saying 404 not found. But if we want to return specific response instead of default 404 exception, then we can define the default route. So ideally, if the user invokes the invalid route or the route that does not exist, then the default route will be invoked. So let's have a look. So here, as you can see on my screen, I have this HTTP API and here we will try to invoke the route which does not exist using Postman. So let me open the Postman and maybe I need to copy the invocation URL. So I will copy this and go to Postman, paste it over here. I will invoke the route which does not exist. So I will simply say test one, two, three. Okay. With the get method and I will say send. So at this point of time, as you can see, it returns status code 404 not found. Correct. So this is the default response that HTTP API returns when the given route does not exist or when the user is trying to invoke the invalid route. So now let's go ahead and create the default route. But before creating the default route, we will create the Lambda function. And that is something that we will attach as a part of the backend integration with the default route. So click on services, navigate to Lambda management console. And once you are there, click on create function, give the function name. I will say default route lamb. I will select runtime as Python 3.8. Within permission, I will say use an existing role and I will select lambda underscore API or hyphen API, I think. So that is lambda API gateway role and I will say create function. And now once the function is created, we are going to modify the response that is coming from this lambda function. So instead of hello from lambda, we will say invalid resource or maybe invalid route invoked. Okay, and we will say status code 200. So I'm going to save this and say deploy. Now, once this Lambda function is created, navigate to API gateway and click on routes from the left panel and say create. So now to create the default route, we need to remove this uh, forward slash and here we will say dollar default. And this will basically deactivate the first drop down from where we used to select the HTTP method. Correct. So this is the default and this is how you can mention the default route and you can say create. Now the default route is created. We can click on that and attach an integration. So we will say attach integration and here we are going to say create and attach an integration. The integration type would be Lambda function. And here within Lambda function name, we are going to use the default route lamb Lambda function that I have created just before some time. And then we are going to leave rest of the option as it is and we will say create. Now once the uh, backend integration is configured, we are good to deploy this to manual endpoint or manual stage. That is version one in my case, deploy to stage. But anyways, I'm going to use the default stage. So now once this is deployed, now if I go ahead and re-invoke this API endpoint, so this is the resource that does not exist or this is the route that does not exist, correct? And if I say send, so now as you can see, it returns status code 200 with the message saying invalid route invoked. It means at this point of time, the default route is getting invoked and this Lambda function or this backend integration is being invoked. And this is the response which this Lambda function is returning. And that is the same response that we are getting as a part of the postman. So guys, this is how you can uh, configure the default route. And this is how you can handle this kind of exception. And you can return custom response and the custom status code in case the user is trying to invoke some invalid endpoint or the route. Now here, there could be a question that what if we have the path parameter in place? So for example, if we go to API gateway, click on routes and if I say create route and here if I select get method, for example, and say slash curly braces root path, something like this, and I will say create. 
So here now we have default route as well and here we have path parameter or the slash root path as well. Now I will quickly uh, attach some integration here. Maybe existing one that is HTTP API hyphen lambda and I will say attach integration. Okay. Now let's try to invoke this again. Let's re-invoke this. And now if I say send, then it returns status code 200 and it returns the response saying get method invoked. It means this time uh, this root path is being invoked and not the default path, right? So just wanted to let you know that if you have the uh, path parameter in place, then uh, HTTP API will give the first priority to the path parameter and then the second priority to the default route. Okay. Now if I try to say that is slash. Now if I try to invoke the sub path parameter or the sub resource over here saying test and if I say send then it will return status code 200 with the message saying invalid route invoked. So this time it invoked the default route. Why? Because we have the slash root path over here. So that is where our first resource was working or first route was working. But here we don't have the sub resource under root path, right? That means this test does not exist. This child resource does not exist. So that's the reason it went ahead and invoked the default route instead of the uh, path parameter route. Okay. So guys, uh, that's all I wanted to cover in this tutorial. So as usual, if you want me to do a tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.